Oh, let's try this again. Hello and welcome to Boom Crypto, the new show on YouTube where we talk about cryptocurrency in the news, we talk about stocks, we talk about business opportunities, technology, basically anything to do with money. And I've got my good friend Steve on the line. How you doing, Steve? Well, I'm front and center. I'm ready. I'm all right. All right, man. I'm glad to hear it, Steve. You know, I always love having you on the show. I always tell you that. And, and, I, and I only tell you that for one reason. Because it's true. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's what my mom always used to say. I'm only saying it because it's true. Well, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about Ethereum Classic here in just a second because it's really running the charts up. But just how we start every show... I want to go ahead and give the top 10 coins by market cap from CoinGecko. Is that okay with you, buddy? Yeah, let's hear it. All right. Now, before I get started on that, I do just want to point out for the first time in history that the market, the total market cap in crypto has gone to 1 trillion. So here we are on CoinGecko. We've got 6,135 varieties of coins represented at 419 exchanges with a total market cap of 1,048,458,845,000 dollars with the 24 vol or 24 hour volume being 192 billion 682 million and change. Man, Steve. <laughs> what do you think of all this craziness going on? Well, it's a lot of lettuce. Things have really been going up and down and all over the place last week. You know that's right, man. We're seeing Bitcoin hit 40,000. It's back down below that. Let me go through the top 10 real quick, bud, and, and then we'll get on, on to the rest of our show. In the first spot, naturally, we have Bitcoin right now at $37,899. Number two is Ethereum. It's getting awfully close to its uh, all-time high right now. It's $1,260, and I think it's going to bust through its all-time high, no problem. We've got number three is Tether, the stable coin that's a dollar. Number four, XRP at $0.31, cents, holding its own. Litecoin is really showing, showing some stuff at $169. We've got Bitcoin Cash at number six at $585. That's up 65% on the week. We've got Cardano at 30 cents man it doesn't seem like too long ago when you could get cardano for like two cents so number eight we've got polka dot at nine dollars and ten cents i think we ought to uh, do a show on that coming up steve because polka dot's going to be a runner number nine we've got chain link is way up there at sixteen dollars and 35 cents and number 10 stellar lumens which showed all kinds of action uh, over the last 10 days or so it's up 7.4 percent on the day 123 percent on the week at what was it at uh, at 28 cents man oh man crazy action how huh, about i say man it's going off the rails now one thing i wanted to point out to people today steve is first things um we we have over all of our different types of social media platforms we have about 30 some subscribers on youtube we have a whole different 30 or so in our facebook group we've got about 70 followers on twitter and we have more than that on our instagram account but where all the action happens is generally on the videos and then in the facebook group you know steve Every day in the Facebook group, we're talking about different stocks and we're talking about different cryptos, aren't we? Sure, sure. That's where I read everything uh, that you post and where I post uh, when I've got a, a good thought to pass along. Yeah. Now, honest to goodness, I mean, we've talked about, uh, we've only been around for, for just a couple months here and, and we haven't even made like a whole bunch of videos. I think we've made like 20 some videos. But in the face, and we've talked about some of them on the videos, but in the Facebook group, especially, we've talked about literally over the last few weeks, especially dozens of stocks and dozens of cryptos where we've said, hey, you know, we're not financial investors, but this one here that we're going to show you, we're either invested in that ourselves or we would invest in it ourselves or we're going to invest in it ourselves. And we've talked about stocks and crypto both. 
We've never called one yet that has went down in price. Every one of them has made money. Steve, I, you've, you've, you've been in on some of these with me. What, what are some of your more memorable uh, trades that we've done so far since you've been with me here at Boom Crypto? Well, let me see. I think uh, um, I, uh, I like what uh, uh, Lumens XLM has done over uh, the time I first got in it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited to uh, see what's uh, coming around with uh, that one one stock I got uh, over on uh, what was on Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah. Was, I it, think that was it the Max uh, D? Was that the Max D stock we were talking about, or is it something different? Well, first I I got uh, a DPW. Okay, now now that's a I good one right on, there. On Robin Hood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Now, just let's refresh people's memory on that one because that one is a good one, okay? I remember that one positively because we were talking about Riot Bit, uh, Riot Blockchain one night, okay? And now that isn't, while I have that out in the room here, Riot Blockchain is another one that we told people about. I think we told people in the videos and in the Facebook group. We told people about Riot Blockchain first when it was $3. And then when it had went up to $6, I told people, we told people about it again, but then I said on that same show, I said, look, Riot Blockchain is at six bucks, but there's this other stock that I found called DPW Holdings, and it looks like a dog that's like two, three bucks. It has been forever, but back in the 2017 crypto bull run, DPW Holdings went to $4,100 a share, and I remember that caught our eye, and anyway, the very next morning, I remember I sold my Riot Blockchain chain stocks at a profit and I, something crazy got into me I bought that DPW holdings that morning at below three dollars at the bell and then I talked about it in in the show and then that's when you got on board right you got some yeah. of it too and, yeah, I do remember. and in the next eight hours that that stock did a 348 percent gain in eight hours now, now, in all fairness, since then, for whoever's held on to it, it's went back down, and I think it's around the four dollar range, if I'm not correct, or if I'm not mistaken on that. But uh, that's just one of them. We called Riot Blockchain, Hive Blockchain, Damage Blockchain. I don't know if you've personally invested in any of those three, Steve, but those are all basically uh, Bitcoin farms that sell stock in their own company. You can get into uh, Riot now; is way up over 28 bucks a share now and so if you want to get into something that's a little bit lower entry price because we're all about entry price here at boom crypto hive and damage blockchain stock you can both get into those for under a dollar a share right i was just mentioning the ones that i had personally invested in that i've been having fun sure following. sure uh, I mean, yeah you know, I, like you said that i um, i wish i could invest in everything uh that we talk about that we agree upon sure uh, but uh and, and then my and uh, this one is long term and it's one of my favorites and i even went back and rounded up my account as gsx even though it's still kind of in the beta phase yes sir you know what i i agree and you know what steve i'm glad you brought that up because i want to tell you some information and i'd like to share with our audience some information some information that I got myself on GSX that made me feel, first I felt horrible and then I felt good. <laughs> and actually, when I'm done with this, when I make put this video together, or actually I'll, I'll post it in the Facebook group, I want, I, I'm, I'm gonna post up the conversation I had with Apollo Fintech um, on Twitter. I'm gonna post up this conversation after, or I'm gonna put it in the Facebook group after we make this video. But you and I, Steve, you know, we both invested in the GSX coin, okay? It's, it's supposed right. to be the only gold-backed stable coin. It was put out by Apollo Fintech. Now, you and I have talked about it several times on the show, and a, 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 a few shows back, we had done a show that the whole show was just on Apollo Fintech and all of their products, including the Apollo currency and the GSX coin. Now, in that video, I kept hearing rumors and, 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 and people kept... Uh, 
nobody would come right out and say, oh, it's a, you know, GSX is a scam, but it was like people were insinuating that, and I didn't know where that information was coming from. And so in the video we did on the GSX coin, I said in there numerous times, I said, I want as many people that have information on this coin that to share it with me, to share it with us, because these people that are rumbling about a scam, I could never find anything that would make me think that at all. Well, anyways, long story short, after that video, a gentleman put a link on in the comments on that video. And what it was, it was a user agreement on the GSX coin, and he, he told me to read it. Okay, so naturally I did. I read this user agreement, and it was a really super long agreement. And at the end, though, where, where it was actually a place there where you would sign your name and everything, you had to agree that if you were buying the GSX coin, that you were not in the United States of America. Okay, and when I read that, I was kind of alarmed <laughs> because I've already had money invested in that coin myself, and I know that you have money invested in that coin um, also, so you can understand my fear. So anyway, the first thing I did, I didn't want to be spreading any rumors and say anything, you know, if that wasn't true. But the document looked pretty, you know, looked pretty legit. So anyways, though, I went to Twitter and I contacted Apollo and I asked them about that. And they were pretty forthcoming. They said when they first, this is what the deal is. It's perfectly okay for Americans to buy the GSX coin. We can invest in the coin, it's no problem. But when the coin was first released, that was not the case. Before they had permission to sell the Apollo GSX coin in America, there was the paperwork that I just explained to you. They were not allowed at one time to sell them in the United States. And that's an old, it's an old uh, form, what the gentleman sent to me. So anyways, I, we had never had that talk before. And, uh, but I didn't want to even bring it up until I had a positive uh, answer on what was going on. So just so you know, for anybody that, uh, if you've heard it's a scam, eh, it's certainly not a scam. We've got our money in it. I think it's a great, a great idea. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going places. And it's just something to look at uh, for you to prosper uh, down the road. It sure is, because it is in pre-sale right now. Um, the only way to get it is to get in on the initial... Um, coin offering that they have going on right now we usually put a link down in, in the description of most of our videos and we will in this one too you can go to GSX you can buy the coins at 10, 10 cents each you will get a bonus from Apollo Fintech of probably about 25% or so and if you use our link you'll even get an additional 5% which I thought was pretty cool because if you read the those agreements usually to get that extra 50 or that extra 5% you usually have to buy uh, 5,000 coins and if you use that link today uh, the only minimum that you have to spend even is only ten dollars I think that's pretty cool yeah this this is the time that our friend in Omaha would say buy it the exactly Oracle. exactly Warren Buffett always says yep he says buy something else you know when nobody else is buying it that's for sure yeah. Okay, but you know what? I don't want to get sidetracked on GSX, Steve. Let's we, we started to say that we were going to talk about number one was Ethereum Classic. Now, this is where I want to say, if, if you're signed up to our YouTube channel, if, well, if you're not signed up to the YouTube channel, make sure you sign up to that because number one, the first 100 subscribers to the YouTube channel here at Boom Crypto, one of them is going to win a Ledger Nano S hardware or, yeah, uh, excuse me, uh, hardware wallet. I wanted to get one that was red or yellow to match the Boom Crypto logo, um, and I found they had a saffron yellow one. I've already purchased it. I bought the OTG kit to go with it that has the accessories and the longer cords and so forth. We're gonna give that away to one of the first 100 subscribers to Boom Crypto. Now, when you sign up though for Boom Crypto, go up to the into the right-hand corner into the banner and hit the button for the Facebook group. You wanna sign up for the Facebook group for two reasons. Number one, that's where we're going to announce the winner for the for the Nano S hardware wallet. Number one, but most importantly, number two, that is where you get the bulk of our information. Daily, we are given hints and ideas and different things for uh, crypto and stocks. 
We've given people literally dozens of ideas for different cryptos and different stocks that you can invest in for, for, uh, for day traders to get in and out of quickly to make a profit, to go long on for long-term investments. We've talked about a lot of cool stuff in there, haven't we, Steve? Oh, yeah, it's a wealth of information. Now, and, what, uh, what, what was the... read it just for that. Right. Now, what was Ethereum Classic at when we first talked about it in Facebook? Do you remember? Was it, it was under $5, I believe. I, okay, well, what, exactly what it was, was back when we first mentioned Ethereum Classic, it was at about, I want to say about 5 bucks each, just like you said. And that's when we first mentioned it. And then, though, I did a whole article on it, probably no less than, no more than two weeks ago, or it was still at $6. And I said, look, we're at the beginning of this crypto bull run here, you know, as we know, most of the altcoins are going to go up. They follow Bitcoin, okay? But you know what? The altcoins usually start don't making the big, huge money until we see the price in Bitcoin slow down a little bit and maybe the worm starts to turn and, and guys start taking their profits out of Bitcoin and they start putting it into all these altcoins. I knew Ethereum Classic was going to bust as soon as that happened, and I think that's what we're seeing today, Steve. Yeah, because it's up three times over that over the last month. Oh, it sure is. It's up right now, according to Coinbase. It says that they're at twelve eighty four right now, and Coinbase has that advertised as their largest gainer over the last twenty four hours. They say yeah. it went up at noon to fifteen bucks. Wow. And when we started the show, I just uh, took a peek at it, and it was at thirteen thirteen. Okay, so it's dropped a little bit since yeah, since you checked. But you know what? We started the show, but it's, you know, it's got great growth over the last 30 days. Oh, it sure has. It sure has. And like I said, if you would have invested in it when we first told you about it, you'd be sitting pretty doubling your money, whether you invested $10 in it or $10,000. you would be sitting on a twice a, twice a big a pile of money. Now, you and know, this, uh, absolutely. Now, Steve, I can't stress enough how we, we want people to come to the Facebook and sign up. Sign up at Boom Crypto on Facebook because that's where we give all the good stuff. Now, I want to touch on a couple things, if you don't mind, that are in the Facebook group right now, just to give people an idea of what, we've, what we're doing here, okay? You remember back when we first started talking about XRP, okay? And, and we said that we thought that it would, it would end up as a global bridge currency for the central banks, and the, and the countries to trade to represent gold if that were to become the global reserve currency. We talked about that and we talked about how cool it would be if Saudi Arabia had to buy their, if you had to buy oil in XRP. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, anyway, in the last couple of days, I found two articles that, I, and I put them in Boom Crypto and we talked about them earlier, but just for the sake of our audience, I want to read this one little part here on the one. It says, central bank digital currencies with the OCC's move there is speculation that maybe a US digital dollar could come through the door of the private sector that would stand in stark contrast to China which is plowing ahead with its top-down CBDC officially known as the digital currency electronic payment or the DCEP the latest move is a new three million dollar lottery trial of the digital yuan in Shenzhen, it seems highly likely that the DCEP moves from trial to full production in 2021. So there's there's somebody right there talking about it, tap, talking about having to go to the private sector to get this coin. Because, you know, even President Trump's cabinet said that fintech would, would even become a national uh, security issue. So that was the one thing. And then there was the other article. It talked about the uh, Saudi Arabia, um, they have just went ahead and they've done the finalizing of, uh, I'll just read you what it says. It says, Saudi Arabia's central bank has signed a deal with US-based Ripple to help banks in the kingdom settle payments using blockchain software as Gulf regulators begin to explore new forms of financial technology. The pilot program is the first of its kind to be launched by a central bank allowing banks in Saudi Arabia to use Ripple software to instantly settle payments sent into and out of the country, the company said late on Wednesday. That's starting to look, Steve, like what we're talking about, doesn't it? 
Oh, it is. It surely is. And you know what else? If you look on in here in the Facebook group again, there's a couple other little things I'd like to touch on because it sits right with it sits right in that same uh, groove here. I just found the other day where let's let me find it really fast. I'm, I don't want to keep everybody waiting, but this is important right here. Oh boy, where is it? Oh doggone! Okay, here it is. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, if XRP is in such a grind and this is such a big deal, Ripple. This is. I'm just going to read what was posted in our Facebook group. It says Ripple just ran an ad. For three central bank account managers, you cannot make this stuff up. Stuff up. One for London, one for New York, and one for San Francisco. But they're in trouble, folks. That's laughable. <laughs> that's a good little post, and that's true. If they're in trouble, why do they need all these central bankers in all around the country and all around the world, Steve? Well, that's because they're getting ready for uh, what's going to happen between now and probably the end of the month. They sure are. They sure are. That's a fact. You know what? I, going through the Facebook group here, just to give some people an idea of some other things that we've talked about, um, I found in here an article where we've been talking about VeChain quite a bit. Okay? not We, we said that it was going to go up, we, and we gave our reasons why. And you can come on here onto the Facebook, or you can watch our videos and find out why we say VeChain is going to go up. But then I put in here, if you don't want to listen to us, you can listen to Tokenomics. Tokenomics, going to give them a little plug. They've got a great algorithm uh, platform where, where, where they can, they've been predicting the growth of some of these coins pretty accurately. But even Tokenomics says that VeChain is going to be going up, um, you know, over the, the course of the, of the next, uh, you know, weeks and months. There's rumor that it is going to be one of the next coins that come onto Coinbase. That'll be huge. If you look at some of the last coins that have come on there, Steve, I don't know if you have any of the graph, but that coin in four days went from 10 cents to 74 cents. Yeah, you mentioned that in one of our talks, and I, I found that remarkable. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it seems like any coin that goes on Coinbase, if, if it's a if it's a low-priced coin, if it's under a dollar, especially if it's under a dime, if you get into something that's, you know, six cents, three cents, eight cents, it seems like when they go up, go on Coinbase, if for no other reason that they're new and they're cheap, it seems like there's an initial rush for them and the price goes way up and then the dust settles and it comes down to about half of what, you know, it takes away like half of the growth. But you still end up with a coin that's, you know, worth, you know, 20 times what it started with. You know, if you look at the graph, it went on sale the first week of December on Coinbase at $0.10. Cents, and by December 4th, I want to say, it was $0.75. Cents, and now it's come back down, and it hovered around $0.40 cents for a week. And now it's around the $0.30 cent area. But even at that, you still tripled your money, no matter if you invested $10 or $10 million. Right, right. And you just uh, spoke briefly about a V uh, train. And... Uh... I'm, I'm as excited about that now that I know what the utility is for the coin. Oh yeah. That uh, I I can't I can't wait to buy it. I, I you know I've been wanting to buy it for a week, but I just gotta wait till I get it <laughs> okay through uh, uh, finance. I know. I'm just thinking because I'll tell ya, I'm as excited about it as I am XRP. Awesome. I, that's so cool to hear. You know, I just wanted to mention briefly what you were just talking about. You know, I, I know you're having, I know you signed up for Binance and you're trying to go through the KYC over there so you can buy your buy your V chain. Uh, I imagine they're just busy as heck right now. I know it took me a few days to get going with with Binance, and that was before this all this bull run action and all that. So I know that I know you're uh, I know I know you're uh, kicking your feet waiting for them to get done with your KYC so you can get buying some V chain. But, uh, I, you know, I'll be okay. I, I, I can wait it out. But I, uh, the, the more and more I think about it, I keep up in the amount of money I want to initially invest in it. I don't blame you at all, you know, Steve. I think the fact alone that they're involved with Walmart China 
in there, you know, and tracking that food. I think that's one of the neatest things. In fact, if, if people haven't checked it out, on YouTube, there is a couple videos that talk about how blockchain technology will be used in the future to track food, and that's how uh, Walmart is doing it in China. It's going to be eventually, Steve, where you can walk into the grocery store, and if they're using the blockchain tracking, you'll be able to walk up to the produce department, you'll be able to pick up a bag of potatoes and scan the blockchain tag, and it will tell you when those potatoes were picked, everywhere they stopped along the way coming to the grocery store, when they got to the store, how long they've been on the shelf, and it's all there for food safety for you and me, so we're not going to, uh, you know, so we can keep track of, of, of where our food comes from, and that's pretty exciting. Like I, like I said, I, I couldn't be more jazzed about it, uh, you know, if we were using your money. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. You don't want to do that. You, you'll end up with holes in your pockets for sure. Or, or at least you'll feel like you had holes in your pocket. One of the two. It's yeah. kind of like, uh, you know, we've all bought uh, bread and milk. And we looked at that expiration date. Yes, sir. And, and we've reached in the bank seeing if there's anything any better when we're trying to get a half gallon of milk. This has taken that and put in technology to it and put it on steroids to where Back. You, you have as much information as you would ever want to know about something as simple as a bag of potatoes. That's a fact. And you know what, Steve? Some people might not have to worry about this, but I, and I don't know about you, but I live in the hood, okay? And when you, when you go to some of these uh, little uh, convenience stores and stuff where they sell bread, and stuff like that you go in there and you're trying to buy the bread you're looking around you're looking for the expiration date is and there is none and then you can see where there probably was one and you know what it took me getting in the grocery business to realize that most of the guys in those little stores like that they're just taking some fingernail polish remover and they're wiping the date right off after it gets past that date and you know that that happened i've seen that happen in uh, big grocery stores and in small little convenience stores so i'm excited for this tracking for the food like you said, it's better for us, the consumer, and uh, it's, uh, like I said, I, I couldn't be more excited about it. Amen. And the more and more we keep talking about it, the more and more it makes me want to put in the same amount that I did on XRB. <laughs> well, they'll be happy to see if you do that, Steve. You know, some yeah. some of the other coins uh, that we've talked about a little bit... Um, I, we just put a... Put a we, we haven't even, we've mentioned this in a video before. Um, but we've talked about it again more in the Facebook group. There's an article in there right now about uh, RSR, the Reserve Rights Token. You know, that right there is, I think, is a super good one right there. And if you go to just reserve.org, you can check it out. RSR has two different coins for two different utilities. Their utility is good. They're a low-priced coin right now that you can get, I think, in the in the two, the two to three cent two to three cent range. Okay, and this and this is a coin again that is uh, for the people that own it already have already doubled their money since they bought it, and I think uh, where, if you get into it in the beginning stages right now, that uh, you can you can double your money more than you know a lot more times to come with RSR. I think that's a good little hidden gem that uh, that we ought to talk about a little more. Yeah, I, I certainly about a week ago when we first started. Uh, um, talking about it, I think I went on a, a coin base. Uh, I, I mean, uh, coin gecko. Yeah. And, and, I, and I looked it up. Yeah. And it, it had risen 17% even back then. Oh, yeah. And it was just under three cents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it, 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 really, it really went up. I think, you know, as a matter of fact, on the days, I think, I want to say on the day that I, uh, that I posted this ad, or this uh, article in the Facebook group, that it that it started going up that very day, that very day. Oh yeah, it did because I see right here in my article it says in our last video Steve and I talked about a coin called RSR. It's a hidden gem and sleeping giant. Go to reserve.org to see both of their coins and read about their blockchain and utility. They were two cents when we mentioned them, and they are now over f a hair under five cents each. So yep, that was the day. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Now let me ask you this, Steve. Have you read through uh, 
I, yesterday I, I posted a ton of articles and, and I'm, anybody would be hard pressed to read them all because sometimes I, I post so much stuff that just reading our stuff would be a part-time job. <laughs> but I, yesterday I posted two particular ads about Ripple and XRP. Did you happen to see those at all? Yeah, I, I read through them briefly, like you said. Uh, you, uh, you you give me a, an hour's worth of work uh, every day, <laughs> just trying to read everything. Right now, the one I thought that people would be really interested in that own XRP will be the one. It just said it's a super basic example of Ripple's tech, and I think this is this was a good article for people, especially if they're newer and especially if they uh, if they what really want to know about XRP and, and what it is that they own. There's a video that goes along with it, and there's some uh, there's some charts and things that explains uh, on-demand liquidity, and you know the the whole design of XRP and, and uh, you know what it was for and who it was for and all that. And then there's another article though also for anybody that's interested in in the the you know the actual mechanics of how it works on the ledger. There there is an, an article uh, about the ledger. It's just called Run a Rippled Validator, and that will give anybody uh, that reads both of those a really good knowledge of what they own. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. And like I said, uh, I, I do my best to uh, read all the articles uh, on a daily basis. I just think I'm a video or two behind. Sure. Let me ask you this, Steve. If somebody was a brand new... If somebody was interested in investing and they and they hadn't done it and they've never done any in crypto or in stocks, um, how easy do you think it would be for somebody to sign up for our video channel and to sign up for the Facebook group and to be able to come in and learn from the information that we have available? How easy would it be for a newcomer to come in and take our information and, and go on from there and become an investor? Well, I, I don't think it's any problem at all. I mean, if I can figure it out, and I'm an old codger, I figure <laughs> we've probably got a, a lot of people that are in the working population, which means they're a lot younger than me, and uh, they understand technology uh, well enough to download an app out of the app store so they can have a place where they can do some research like CoinGecko and and sure. uh, you know then they can kind of take everything and digest it and uh, formulate it into where they want to put their first twenty dollars exactly. um, you know I, I I was able to figure it out so uh, I I don't think it's uh, that much of a, a challenge right on uh, especially to people that are you know under 60 amen you know, the youngsters <laughs> that's right you know what I know crypto is, is a, uh, you know, when, when, during this lockdown with everybody being shut in at home and everything, I know everybody was looking for a way that they could try to make a little bit of money at home. And I know a lot of people have turned to stocks and a lot of people have turned to crypto, you know, and we're getting a, a big input of newcomers to both different markets. Now, I think the, I think the crypto appeals more to the millennials and the younger people because they've grown up you know, buying things off of Amazon, getting next day delivery, everything's open 24 hours online, and the stock market is only open, you know, from nine to five, Monday through Friday. And I think millennials probably laugh at their parents when their parents are complaining on the weekend that their stock is way down and they have to wait till Monday to sell it <laughs> when the crypto market's open 24 seven. And uh, with that being said, Steve, I wanna remind people too, if when you come and join the Boom Crypto Facebook group, if you check down in the unit section, there's a big list. There, there's an article down there called From Zero to Hero. And what it is, it, it's a whole list of free stuff that you can get just by uh, coming in and signing up on the Facebook page with Boom Crypto. There's free cryptocurrency. There's free stock. There's a free life uh, mastery course called the Formula 4 Protocol um, that Steve and I both use. And how have you, have you still been using the Formula 4, Steve? I do too, and uh, I just can't believe how much it's changed me in a good way just by listening to a six-minute meditation in the morning. Yeah, it's a great way to start your day, and uh, like I said, uh, I, I now that I have it, I 
wouldn't be without it. That's a fact. You know, you really get used to doing it. I notice it. You know, the cool thing that I've noticed, I've been doing it for so long now, that I, I notice, I don't miss doing it very often because it's really important to me that I do it. But I have gotten out of the house before without doing it. And the funny thing was, the first thing that came to my head was, oh man, I didn't do my meditation. But then I said, well, I'll, I'll do my meditation, you know, right now without the, without, you know, the video to watch. And I've, and I've done it so many times and it's starting to become a habit to me that I could just about do the whole meditation without the video. <laughs> And, and I think that's a byproduct well, of doing the meditation. Sales, I'm sure you'll remember. What's they that? They said if, if you want something to be a habit, you got to do it at least 16 times. There you go. There you go. You know what? I think the science, you know, that is what we used to say when we were in sales together, when we were young bucks back in the day. And I think the science, though, has taken it one step farther, Steve, and they've proven it even now, that what they say is anything that you do for 66 days in a row becomes a habit, whether it's positive or negative. Yeah, that's days. right. Yeah. Yep. And you know what? Um, I don't want to get sidetracked on the Formula 4, but I do want to mention, there, there, again, there, there is going to be a link if you, if you want to download your own positive manifestation breakthrough toolkit, because if you want to be rich, you got to think like a rich person. And this right here, the Formula 4, really uh, can help you out in the areas of your life of health, happiness, prosperity, and purpose. That's where they get the four from, the Formula Four. It's all about uh, giving you the tools that you need to be able to celebrate your life the way you want to celebrate it every day. So I just wanted to plug that for Formula Four because it has changed my life so much, Steve. Yes, I can understand uh, it's, uh, it's a positive and, and most of what I've gotten out of it so far hasn't cost me anything except a little bit of time. That's right. That's right. You know, because I, because I will mention for the people, if you do download the, that positive manifestation toolkit, there is over three thousand separate pieces of information in the Formula Four protocol. But when you, when you, uh, when you get the free stuff, it's actually a, it's a free course. It, it gives you. Uh, one of the, the meditation that me and Steve are talking about, you get that six minute meditation for free. And then you get a bunch of other information to, that goes with it. And if you just start doing that meditation and you go through that information and you start implementing some of the little pointers in there. And the coolest thing about it, Steve, it's not like one guy's information saying, hey, I've got it all figured out. You know, come and do the stuff on this list and you're going to be, you know, you're going to be all right. Because from that point of view, that's just one person's point of view this the stuff that's in the formula four these are universal truths that apply to everyone that, that they're not even debatable and it's all based on love and 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 uh and kindness and i think it's a great thing so anyway i'll leave it at that but uh i think it's that important you know everybody should go download themselves a positive manifestation breakthrough toolkit because i think everybody could use a positive manifestation how about you <laughs> oh yeah that's uh, like i said that goes hand in hand with uh with growing as a person that's right because i honestly believe that once somebody masters the formula four protocol that they can make their dreams come true in real time the people that know me know i was a, a you know a drug addict for years and years and uh and i've been clean now for three years and the formula four has helped me even in that area you know, so it, it can help anybody. If you've got a great life, it can make it better. And if you've got a horrible life and want to make it better, you can do it that way too. So, anyway, Steve. So uh, before we close here, I want to give you an opportunity. Uh, is there is there any particular coins or anything in the news or anything like that that you'd like to talk about? Well, no, because you you had mentioned what you had uh, heard uh, earlier about. Uh, XLM about the lumens oh, yeah. um, and, and its utility uh, overseas, and, and that's probably the one of the most positive things this week, and why we've seen that price, uh, you know, be as high yeah. as uh, as XRP. Uh, that's a, that, that's a fact. And you, you know, one other thing that goes along with that, Steve, that I that I forgot to even mention. You know, one of the reasons that Stellar is is jamming right now so much was because of their announcement that uh, in the Ukraine, the Ukraine is looking to create a 
some sort of a national central bank digital currency for the Ukraine. And uh, I, I, everybody keeps saying that they've made an agreement with Stellar. And I don't know for a positive fact that they've made it an agreement with Stellar to actually do the coin on their blockchain and all that. But I do know for sure that they have hired Stellar to look at the feasibility of that happening. Okay, And that speculation is what's caused the price to go up. Now, interestingly enough, Remember earlier when we were talking about those articles and how they were talking about, you know, like the uh, the central bank digital currencies and, and how that tied in with XRP and, and, and my opinion of what they're going to use it for? You remember all that statement? Right. Well, I had made, I had, on one of our videos way back when, I had said that I it was my opinion that XRP would be the digital bridge currency that would represent the gold in a new quantum financial system and then each country would probably have their own native digital currency and I said it was my opinion back then that it would that our currency would end up being stellar stellar lumens or it would be some sort of a stable coin built on their blockchain and with that being said I thought that was really interesting then that the Ukraine all of a sudden wants to hire stellar for their for their uh, digital coin for the, to represent the Ukraine and then just in the last couple of weeks there's been talk of the USD coin, the US dollar coin, the stable coin that was built on the Ethereum network. I've heard that they may transfer that to the Stellar blockchain. And I thought that was quite telling. Yeah, yeah like you said, uh, all this stuff has been laid out in place for years and we're just seeing it come to fruition. That's a fact, you know. I mean, when you really start looking into XRP, I don't see how anybody can buy this bait and switch, I mean this head fake that they're doing because if you look at RippleNet, we've always talked about how 90 or 95 percent of what happens with XRP happens outside of the United States and uh, if you look at RippleNet and on-demand liquidity, you've had for a couple of years now 350 companies, you know, in 40 separate currencies from 55 countries all using this. And the SEC in the United States is the only one that says it's a security. <laughs> yeah, well, that, 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 uh, that, that weak theory is about to come to an end. You know what? I, I sure hope so, Steve, because I know us XRP owners, we're all looking to, uh, we're looking for that life-changing return. And, 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 I, and I think we're going to get it. Well, yeah. We just have to be I, patient. I know we are. We just have to be patient. I think uh, I like the news coming out of the OCC. It looks like there might be a little bit of a turf battle over XRP between the OCC and the SEC. So we'll see what happens there. That's right. All right, Steve, unless you've got anything you want to share, I think we can get out of here and uh, let the people get back to what they were doing. All righty. All right. Th well, thanks for coming and being on the show with me, Steve. I always appreciate you. And everybody out there in YouTube land, this is JD and Steve from Boom Crypto. Peace.